some concepts introduce their own rules and you also need previous knowledge from other basic topics you studied so this is the video you need if you have issue with mathematics once you follow what i'm telling you and then you humble yourself to get someone who will teach you and stop complaining that it's too difficult it will be very easy anything can be easy anything okay so you're welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you topics that every student who has issue with mathematics is likely supposed to have issues with and those who do not have issues with the basic topics but have issues with specific topics all other topics in the junior high school new curriculum is going to be spoken about in this video so first of all addition of whole numbers which is very basic subtraction of whole numbers we all know that multiplication of whole numbers and when it comes to multiplication um, right at the beginning of JHS if you do not know the multiplication table if nothing at all you should know from two times table to the nine times table and the division comes so if you're a student who is struggling with division it means your addition and subtraction multiplication should be good before division comes in then addition and subtraction of integers that's negative numbers negative five plus positive two and so on and these topics have been arranged in increasing level of difficulty so you should know them in the order as i've stated if there is any topic ahead that you do not know it means you need to learn them before the subsequent ones so for example looking at multiplication of whole numbers you should know multiplication of whole numbers before you come to division of whole numbers so the next thing i you are seeing on the screen is place value decimal places standard um standard form and so on now standard form and decimal places you mostly meet them after you have solved the question that has to do with decimal points so you will be told to approximate or live in two decimal places or you should live in a standard form then the next one is conversion of fractions to decimals percentages and so on this is so key very very important because in topics like percentages and you know ratio and proportion and so on you would have to sometimes even in a linear equation you have to sometimes convert fraction to decimal and um, convert decimal to percentage and so on addition and subtraction of decimals another very important topic most students normally do not know how to arrange decimal numbers when they are adding or subtracting multiplication and division of decimals another very basic important it's basic and you know it's so important yes the next one is addition and subtraction of fractions it means before you come to this your lcm should be very good you should know how to do your lcm multiplication and division of fractions when it comes to multiplication you know you are multiplying the denominator by the denominator and numerator by the numerator when it's division you have to reciprocate the fraction on your right so as to change the sign to multiplication then indices indices is a very basic topic it looks like a topic on its own which has its own rules you know mathematics is full of rules full of rules and symbols the numbers the, everything is small of symbols so when you miss them you see the reason why the reading topics are so easy to get and grasp is because we speak the english we speak it everywhere but you don't hear someone speaking mathematics as in mentioning numbers and you know they do not communicate any meaning they only pass on information so word problem word problem is also another basic now from this from indices downwards these are you know topics that you really need to give attention to but from addition of whole numbers straight to multiplication and division of fractions those are basics and looking at the new curriculum by the time you get to basic seven you should know all of these then algebraic expression sets change of subject linear equation and linear equalities in, including their word problems and identification of plane figures and polygons you see if you're a student who is well abreast with all of these topics every single topic you see on the screen now you are ready for mathematics but if you have one or two issues with it you'll be part of those students who always complain that mathematics is too difficult and mathematics is too tough you know mathematics is more of like every topic is like dependent on other topics so if you don't know the topics below them you're in trouble so from the next slide we are going to be picking certain specific topics in, which have been introduced or which were already in the new curriculum for the junior high school and we'll be breaking them down to know the topics that you're supposed to know you know those topics i'm going to mention over there are not independent of these you should know these as well as those topics i'm going to mention so let's go to the next slide now sets 
set you should be very good with your multiplication square numbers and then square roots one experience i've always had is with students is differentiating between a square number and a square root okay so indices and logarithm okay logarithm is actually not in the junior high school it's in the senior high school but let's just move on so you should, you should be well abreast with fractions exponents and you see if you are watching this video and you i go to a topic where you really have an issue with you should get your pen and your paper ready so that if i mention a topic and then there's the subtopics you have no idea you go to your tutor or go to a friend to help you out and we have linear equation here with linear equation you will abreast with number line which you learn right from basic one two three then you change your subjects you see you should be a master mm, you should be a master anyone who is good at mathematics is always doing well at it and those who are always complaining are always getting the low grade it means those who are good at it you know they've acquired some form of mastery so you shouldn't be studying mathematics and be going for the easier ones and you know be ignoring the difficult ones the simple reason is whatever topic you pick mm, that basic topic that you categorize to be difficult you need the understanding of that basic topic to be able to understand this new topic for example when you pick calculus calculus doesn't introduce any new concepts it's just the application of all other things you know which you will be treating in maybe the junior and um, the senior high school if you are going to treat elective maths even trigonometry as well it's just application of a lot of sub or basic topics you know in mathematics so if you didn't grasp the understanding that's where you'll be in trouble then your word problem as well now we also have simultaneous equation then simultaneous equation involving two variables that's what you're going to be meeting and this was introduced in the new curriculum so if you understand your linear equation very well your change of subject change of subject is coming again then we have variation we have direct variation and then indirect variation so with variation you have you should be very well abreast with your algebraic expression and your linear equation your squares and your square roots so you see you end up meeting them so if you are watching this video and you have been preparing for an exam or you want to study on your own i think the subtopics under these would help you tackle them okay so we have venn diagram venn diagram you need to be well abreast with your well abreast with your integers rational and irrational numbers linear equation probability and then um, your word problem because sometimes some questions are asked and you need to really understand the statements being made before you can move on and your plane figures plane figures your linear equation and plane figures has to do with the formulas for triangle you know your circle your parallelogram your rhombus and sometimes the questions are given in word problem so your change of subject will come in because sometimes you have to make a particular variable the subject then plane geometry plane geometry your angles your right angle your obtuse angle you also have to do with your the corresponding angle so you see some concepts introduce their own rules and you also need previous knowledge from other basic topics you studied so this is the video you need if you have issue with mathematics once you follow what i'm telling you and then you humble yourself to get someone who will teach you and stop complaining that it's too difficult it will be very easy anything can be easy anything can be very difficult it just has to do with your mindset so you should know your angles very well so you should have an understanding of the plane figures your plane figures your your rectangle your square your parallelogram your rhombus because you're going to meet these same concepts and the knowledge you had in the plane figures your understanding of what a rhombus and a square is will help you do your plane geometry with ease so your triangle your quadrilaterals then trigonometry this topic i first met it in the senior high school but it's now in the junior high school you need to know it now so katwa so katwa is just you know some rules you you need your word problem then you need knowledge in linear equation as well and pythagoras theorem um in you know, trigonometry is more of like um, a continuation of what you know in pythagoras theorem which have to do with angles then types of triangles now in trigonometry you're, you're mostly going to be dealing with right angle triangle that's in the junior high school then your bearing then vectors and bearing if you know your cardinal points your north south east and west the cartesian plane that is the graph you should know your way around the graph and we have coordinate geometry coordinate geometry uh, you know every concept which is introduced and according geometry can be related to another 
So we have gradient, we have the y intercept, the x intercept, the length of a line. So you see, with mathematics as well, you don't just try to memorize from lesson. Just move on. No. This new curriculum, we are being told that the BEC is going to be more of problem solving and critical thinking. And this is a topic that you should expect if it's more problem solving and critical thinking. You should well abreast with your square roots, your squares, and then your fractions. Yes, then when it comes to construction, this has to do with you, your mass set, your mass set, your compass, and then your, your, your straight edge. You should be able to um, construct angles and you see, you should understand whatever is being communicated. Once you are reading the question and then, you know, you are doing your construction, you get to a point or you get to statements you do not grasp. It means that everything you do below that statement you do not understand. It's, it's not going to yield any marks. And we have percentages, your VAT, your commission, your SNIT. SNIT was also introduced. Um, your selling price, your cost price. So you should be well abreast with your fractions, your decimals, percentages, ratio and proportion. Sometimes you have to do ratio and proportion when a discount is giving or commission is also giving. And your word problem as well. So you see, word problem runs through. And word problem is only mastered through consistent practice now your statistics has to do with your pie charts your bar charts your histogram your stem and leaf plot so your graph work you should be good there your fractions your angles percentages and ratio and proportion and sometimes you know probability and then word problem also comes in then linear transformation linear transformation you know when it comes to graph work or drawing in mathematics you should take advantage of it because you don't do a lot of thinking it just has to do with your graph book and then knowing your way around so if nothing at all you should be well abreast with it graph graph anything that has to do with graph and your cartesian plane because over there it's easier to get the full 15 marks for one question so your angles and when it comes to probability probability you know probability now in the junior high school has been the difficulty level has been increased a little to the senior high school one so your word problem your fraction and your decimals also come in that has to do with logical reasoning and with logical reasoning it doesn't have anything to do with the calculations that you normally see or mostly see in mathematics and you know it has more to do with word problem and mostly looking at the yx system you you would have to know how to work your way around it with a venn diagram then you have the circle theory. Now, circle theory, you just have to be perfect with your circles, plane geometry, and not just that, but have so much deep knowledge in them, as well as the rules that will be communicated to you at the beginning of the study of circle theory. You know, it has to do with almost everything you have learned in your journey in mathematics. And it's so easy and interesting if you can apply the rules and then work your way around it. Now, we have quadratic graph, which has more to do with change of subject, substitution, and then understanding how to plot on the Cartesian plane. It's very um, basic and, you know, if you get the basis right, it's easier to understand. Modulo arithmetic and then number basis. It just has to do with your arithmetic and then understanding how they work they don't really have a lot of um, foundational topics you need to understand thank you for watching this video click on the image which has my channel name to see more videos like this